Well, hello ladies, Amanda Holcomb here, ready to talk to you about how I've been changing up my parties. So I was finding that I wasn't having as much success with my parties, so I was determined to find a different way of doing things. And um, I've tried it out now on about mm, three, four parties, something like that. And my sales have dramatically increased. Now, some of that could just be good fortune I don't know, but I really do think that a lot of it has to do with how I'm running my parties right now. Um, I've been kind of keeping them at 10 day parties and I wasn't doing that before. I was typically doing a five day party, but because the way things have changed, I have changed over to 10 day parties. So I'm hoping that this helps you guys out and I'm gonna start kind of going through my notes. Got a big old list of notes that I'm working from. So, all right. Okay, so I first I start off with prizes and talking about enter to win and I have this image that I'll post on here that you guys can see and it's a really great attention getter um, and then I explain the points which I know if you guys are on Monica's team a lot of you already have been doing this but the very end so I'll say that you know you'll get a free lip stain or a lip gloss or whatever and then if they hit a certain amount in sales then I will offer another prize and I will determine what that is I might say it's a mascara or um, a splurge cream splurge you know whatever I'm gonna say that it is then I say, okay, first chance to earn tickets, are you a unique newbie? That has really been good because it's been so fun to see who knows about unique and who doesn't know about unique. And I'm finding that a lot of people still haven't really heard about it and don't know about it. And this gives them the opportunity to say, hey, I don't know anything, tell me. Um, and then do you currently wear makeup? And are you interested in tutorials? And this again gives them points for earning their prize because I always say comment comment because every comment gets you a point and people get a little bit excited about that but hearing that they want tutorials or they don't want tutorials or really why they're here and what I can help them with it's already saying hey she's gonna help me she's she's here to give me tutorials and so it's more than just she wants to sell me makeup she wants to help me and whether it's my own tutorials or somebody else's that I've downloaded doesn't matter because at least I'm going to be showing them how to do things and how to make themselves feel a little bit prettier when most people have not been taught anything about makeup. I'm, I'm running across that more and more that the majority of people just have no clue what they're doing. Um, I always do a welcome video, quick, wear some cute makeup, I'll maybe wear a brighter color than I normally would just so they can see it on and I'll say, hey, welcome to Susie's party. So excited that you're here. Don't forget to make comments because when you make comments, you earn points. And I kind of just go over that and that they should be looking out for um, upcoming tutorials and other things that will help them understand the product more. The other thing is um, I've been doing a combination of home party and online party. And I feel like that combination coming together is really making a big difference because um, I'll do like six days of the online party, so we're talking, we're getting excited, they're ready to see it, and I'm having bigger turnouts for the home parties than I was before, where typically I might only get like two or three people. This last party had ten. Ten people, which gave me a party that was $940. That's a big party. So I'm really seeing a big jump, where like some of my parties before might have been $300, $400, and sometimes not very much or not even a qualifying party. So this is changing things a bit. Um, then I also do something where if if they're local, I'll have them come over and I'll say, let's do your makeup. So I'll take it before, I'll take it after, and we do their whole makeup and then we post it on the party, say all the products that we use and that gets people excited. And then I also tell them, hey, say something that you love about your hostess. So this makes them more involved, more invested in their friend and they feel like they're a part of something as opposed to just an outsider. So this gives them a chance to talk about their hostess because it's not about me. They don't know me. They don't care about me. They care about their friend who's hosting this party and what they're doing to help her out. Um, let's see here. Um, ask them questions throughout the whole party because the more questions you ask, again, it makes them feel invested in this. Um, I always do fun games, uh, like little the little guessing games and everything. I can post some of those if you don't have them, but they're just like guess this movie, and I use pigments and like they're ones that are either I've made or I've gotten from somebody else um, through Unique. A lot of these things are searchable, but it, like things like um, I made one for Talladega Nights and Gone with the Wind, but there's other ones like. Um, 
I don't know, how to lose a guy in 10 days. Those type of things, okay? So these are all fun kind of chick flicks and or just silly movies. And then what I found was funny to do is I quote, I look up quotes from the movies. So like once someone guesses it right, I'll put a quote on there that I think is funny. And then I will notice I'll get other people who will quote back because they think it's fun. And now all of a sudden we have a stream of 10 um, comments because everybody's involved. And what happens when there's more comments? Your party starts getting more activity from the other people involved. Typically I'm having, you know, 35 to 45 people invited to these online parties. But that's so fun because now all of a sudden the people who weren't seeing it before are seeing it and they're going, oh, this girl's kind of fun. She's more than just makeup, you know, she's she's kind of silly. And so I'm not afraid to show a little bit more I'm a silly side. So um Let's see here. If somebody cannot make it to the home party, I do offer for them to come over here and try out the makeup as well, but I don't offer that until after the party's over, and I have had a few people, or until after the home party's over, um, but the online party's still available, and I've had some people take me up on it, and it's gotten me more sales. Um, let's see here. And if you do have your hostess come over, she is more likely, um, to want to have a home party because she sees how advantageous it is to try out the products or even if they go to a home party they're more likely to book a party because they're like oh look at all the excitement look at all the prizes and all the fun things that happened um i talk about my favorite things i will do little videos um i have a lot more tutorials that i've worked on but you don't have to use your own tutorials feel free to use mine i also have been using um nathan lippett and he is hilarious. Um, he's the guy in the UK who, okay, who doesn't love an accent from the UK? Super fun. And plus he's fun and he's spunky and has a lot of energy. And even posting those on my regular page has gotten me sales because people are like, whatever he is selling, I'm buying and I'm buying it through you. Well, thank you. Thank you very much for that. I don't have to work too hard for that one, did I? No, all I did was post it. So feel free to post me. I mean, you can if you want or find somebody else that you like posting. Um, Okay, so my biggest things that I've been talking about lately that are my favorite things, and that's kind of what I've been encouraging people to buy, are, of course, the mascara. Do before and afters, do videos about it, show them how you're putting it on, um, show them different makeups every day, post pictures. They like seeing pictures of you wearing it and seeing the versatility of the products. Um, the, then I say the primer. Always, always, always say the primer because even if they don't buy it from you right then, they're thinking about it. And I've had a lot more people coming back to me and wanting to buy the primer later down the road. Um, also the cream shadows because I think they're super easy and fun and especially for those, there's a lot of women, a lot of women who do their makeup in the car. It blows me away because I just can't even imagine that. But they do it. You might be one of them. I don't know. And um, the cream splurges are one of the best things to do in the car and um, one of my clients that has been wearing the cream splurges she has really gotten a lot of attention and she even told me okay I've gotten so much attention I think I need to have a home party just from the cream cream splurges they're that noticeable you wear them even by itself I wore dainty by itself to the gym and I had people making comments how long did it take you to put that on um yeah like 20 seconds it was quick Maybe two seconds. I don't know. And then the bronzer because I think with summer coming up and we're not quite bronzy yet, it's nice to have that bronzer on here and on your cheeks. And if you don't know how to apply it, let me know and I will help you ladies. Um, same thing I tell them. I'm telling you. Okay. Um, all right. Foundation, foundation, foundation. That is what I'm noticing is my biggest seller lately and guess what that does it's a base and it's getting them excited for what can go on top of it so once they get committed to a good foundation people are more likely to stick with you a lot longer I had a lady at my last party who said that she had been using Estee Lauder's for I don't know how many years five ten years something like that anyways they discontinued the color and she decided that she found she brought what was left of it and matched it to one of our colors that I had with me and ta -da! Now she is going to be using my products for who knows how long. She's committed, she loves it, and is ready to try even more products. So that's been a big help. Um, mm -hmm. So yes, you can post um, different, I, I don't know, I posted probably 10 before and afters with the foundation in my last party, and this got a lot of excitement. And even mm -mm, at the home party, 
I actually took one of the girls and said, all right, everybody pay attention to this first person that I'm doing. And you can, then you can talk amongst yourselves and play with makeup because they're going through lip glosses and foundations and eye makeup and just having a blast playing, right? But I took one of the girls and I did half of her face right down the middle and I did the um, BB cream on one side. Let everybody see the difference and then I put powder over it. People were in shock. They were dying. Okay, this one girl has very like blotchy red skin. We did hers, the same thing. People were going crazy. They're like, this covers like crazy. Then I did the other half of her face with the um, uh, the cream foundation and then the powder over it. And so they could see how the difference in the coverage and how it like, everyone kind of feels differently about how it feels on their skin and what they like. But still they could see both have great coverage. One of them a little bit more so than the other. Let them figure it out, but I'm telling you that got me a lot of sales, but just even posting my own, I did one where I even showed, and I'll post some of these video links so that you guys can see it, um, just putting it on and the difference that it makes. So really is a huge help. And then um, one of the biggest things that I have found has helped me to book more parties. Um, sorry, this is such a long video, but this is all such great information, guys, um, is I go ahead, sorry, I'm right in front of my computer now, and I'm gonna see if I can even pull up the exact wording um, that I used, but basically I just said, um, mm, okay, here it is. Let's do a quick game for your last chance to really stack up those raffle ticket, raffle ticket for our grand prize. So here's how the game works. For every question you ask me about either hosting a party or becoming a unique consultant, you get another raffle ticket. Calling them raffle ticket, by the way, is something so much better than just the points like so every raffle ticket is like 10 points and that's kind of how I've I've come across it but saying raffle tickets makes people feel like they're entered to win um, and then I say it's simple right and ask a question asking a question may mean you want to win not that you're necessarily on board for joining my team if you decide to host a party you too will get a free lip gloss and if three parties book Daisy will get something special too that was the last girl who hosted so how crazy is that that it just got so much conversation going in the last few parties that I've done that I've had so many comments this last one had 18 comments the party before that I think I had 25 comments something like that it was crazy um, but it's really getting a lot more chatter going and it allows them to ask questions and not feel intimidated or like oh she's trying to get me to book a party this crazy woman they don't feel intimidated by this they don't feel pressured by this and that is one of the biggest things is we don't want them to feel pressured we want them to want to have a party and to be more excited about it and think about what it can do for them and Daisy did book three parties off of that party because they were like oh well I want to do it if it helps Daisy if it'll help her get something more than I want to do that what okay because that was the first time that I had done that with the party was saying that the hostess will get something special and that made everybody feel so excited that they wanted to book it and so I booked three parties as opposed to my normal one party that I have been booking um, after a party I typically book one party from a party so all good things that are really helpful um, there was one more thing let me scroll back through I wanted to tell you guys oh so I took out my unique card and I took a picture when I went out on my date with my husband on Friday night and we were doing dinner and um, a movie. So I took a picture with my dinner with my little unique card. La la la, here, look at me having dinner on unique. Thanks so much. Paid for my date, paid for my babysitter. And then um, I said, now if you get, guess the movie that I'm going to go see, I will give you an extra 20 points. So they were all guessing and whatever. That was another 10 comments that came just from that and it got a lot more chatter going and it also makes them think. So even if they're not commenting and saying, oh, well, you know, how did you, how did Unique pay for your dinner? Well, you know, it allows them to start thinking, okay, so she's making enough that she can just go out and have a nice dinner you know, Cheesecake Factory, whatever, um, and go out to a movie afterwards and pay for her babysitter all on Unique's time, which is pretty neat. So anyways, um, these have all been really great things that have worked for me lately. If you guys want to be added to any of my parties recently um, that I'm having, like this last one I can add you to, so you can kind of just go back through and look at all the verbiage that I used and um, what posts got the most comments. Um, that would be fine. You guys can do that. I have no problem um, having you guys add on, but I just really want to help you get out of your comfort zone a little bit and have some fun with it. But 
Um, people know about the mascara now, so ha talk about other things. Talk about the other products that we offer, and I promise you, your sales will definitely improve. So go out there, get someone who will have a party, and you want go out and say, hey, I, I'm changing some things up on my party. Who wants to be my my test dummy or you know, word it nicer than that. I don't know. I'm not great at wording things. Ask Monica. <laughs> but um, you can have like just word it however you want to that says, hey, I want to try some new things. Who wants to be the person to try it out and see if you can get some free stuff in the process. So anyways, hope that helps you out, ladies. I think of you guys all so often and I just hope that you know I am here for you. I want to help you grow and succeed. So whatever you're willing to put into your business, um, I am willing to help you get there. And to if you want to hit black, I'm here to help you get to that point too because I want to hit black myself and I want you guys to to experience the things that you experience that I have experienced by hitting green um, and hopefully more soon in the future but you guys have a fantastic day and thanks for listening in I hope this helps you give me your comments and feedback and let me know if these are some new things that uh, will help you out talk to you soon